Welcome to an exclusive deep dive into the multifaceted world of one of Hollywood's most enigmatic figures, Don Cheadle. From his iconic roles to his lavish lifestyle, join us as we delve into the extraordinary life of this renowned actor, philanthropist, and global icon. But beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Don Cheadle leads a life of gentle elegance inside peaceful mansions. And when it comes to wheels, Don Cheadle doesn't hold back. His enviable car collection boasts some of the most coveted rides in the world. Through his philanthropic efforts, he strives to making a positive impact on the world, using his platform to uplift those in need, and fighting for causes close to his heart. Let's dive deep into the essence of Don Cheadle's extraordinary existence. Don Cheadle, a renowned American actor, has built a remarkable career in the entertainment industry, amassing a net worth of $40 million as of April 2024. His journey to stardom is marked by an array of memorable performances in both film and television. Cheadle's versatility as an actor is evident in his roles in acclaimed films such as Boogie Nights, Traffic, and Crash, where he showcased his exceptional talent and garnered widespread praise from audiences and critics alike. One of his standout performances came in the 2004 film Hotel Rwanda, for which he earned an Academy Award nomination solidifying his status as a formidable talent in Hollywood. However, it was his portrayal of James Rhodes in several Marvel superhero films that catapulted Cheadle to global recognition. His charismatic portrayal of the character endeared him to fans worldwide and cemented his place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Beyond the silver screen, Cheadle has also made a significant impact on television. His roles in the Showtime series, House of Lies, and Black Monday, have earned him critical acclaim and further showcased his range as an actor. In these series, Cheadle captivated audiences with his compelling performances, demonstrating his ability to excel in both drama and comedy. Donald Frank Cheadle Jr., born on November 29, 1964, hails from Kansas City, Missouri, where he spent his early years with his parents, Betty Cheadle, a teacher, and Donald Frank Cheadle Sr., a clinical psychologist. Growing up, he shared his home with his younger sister, Cindy, and older brother, Colin. The Cheadle family's life was marked by constant movement, as they relocated from city to city during Donald's childhood. Donald's educational journey took him to various places. He attended Hartley Elementary School in Lincoln, Nebraska, from 1970 to 1974, before eventually graduating from East High School in Denver, Colorado, in 1982. It was during his high school years that Donald discovered his passion for performing arts. He showcased his talents by playing the saxophone in the jazz band, lending his voice to the choir, and actively participating in the theater department, where he appeared in numerous musicals, plays, and pantomime shows. Following his high school graduation, Donald embarked on his acting career. His first brush with the screen came in 1985 when he landed a role in the comedy, Moving Violations, earning himself a Screen Actors Guild card. Continuing his pursuit of the arts, Donald pursued higher education at the prestigious California Institute of the Arts, where he graduated with a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Theater in 1986. In 1987, Donald's talent caught the attention of audiences when he portrayed a teenager with learning difficulties in the seventh season of Hill Street Blues. This was followed by appearances in other notable projects, including Hamburger Hill and an episode of Night Court. Despite his young age, Donald showcased his versatility by tackling diverse roles on screen. Donald's career gained momentum as he ventured into films like Colors in 1988, where he played the character Rocket. He also made a memorable appearance in the music video for Angela Winbush's hit single, It's the Real Thing, showcasing his skills beyond traditional acting. Throughout the late 1980s and early 1990s, Donald continued to make his mark on both the small and big screens. He appeared in popular television shows like The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and took on roles in films such as The Golden Palace and Picket Fences, showcasing his range and versatility as an actor. It was his role as Alexander Mouse in the 1995 film Devil in a Blue Dress that first garnered widespread attention for Cheadle. His portrayal earned him critical acclaim, along with a Best Supporting Actor Award from the Los Angeles Film Critics Association as well as accolades from the National Society of Film Critics. Nominations for similar awards poured in from esteemed organizations like the Screen Actors Guild and the NAACP Image Awards, solidifying Cheadle's place as a rising star in the industry. Following his breakout role, 
Cheadle continued to impress audiences with his performances on both the big and small screens. In 1996, he captivated audiences with his portrayal of Earl, the goat, Manigault in the HBO television film, Rebound. The Legend of Earl, the Goat, Manigault. The following year, he showcased his dramatic range in John Singleton's historical drama, Rosewood, and the disaster film, Volcano. Cheadle's talent for embodying real-life figures was evident in his portrayal of Sammy Davis Jr. in the 1998 television film, The Rat Pack. His captivating performance earned him a Golden Globe Award and garnered him an Emmy nomination, further solidifying his reputation as a versatile actor capable of tackling complex roles. In 1999, Cheadle delivered a poignant performance as Grant Wiggins in the film adaptation of Ernest J. Gaines' novel, A Lesson Before Dying. His portrayal earned critical acclaim and contributed to the success of the film, which won the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Drama Series. The turn of the millennium brought further success for Cheadle, with notable roles in films such as Traffic, Mission to Mars, in 2000. He also joined the ensemble cast of Ocean's Eleven, in 2001. Portraying the character Basher Tar alongside Hollywood heavyweights like George Clooney, Brad Pitt, and Julia Roberts. Cheadle reprised his role in the sequels, Ocean's 12, and Ocean's 13, solidifying his place in the star-studded franchise. In addition to his film roles, Cheadle showcased his comedic chops in a guest appearance on the ninth season of the television series, Er, earning him an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Drama Series. Outside of his acting endeavors, Cheadle became a familiar face to sports fans through his appearances in NFL commercials promoting the Super Bowl from 2002 to 2005. His popularity in these ads even led to a memorable moment when the NFL approached him for permission to reference his previous commercials in their advertising campaign a request Cheadle humorously declined. In 2005, Cheadle received critical acclaim for his portrayal of Paul Rusesa Begina in the film Hotel Rwanda, earning him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. His compelling performance shed light on the Rwandan genocide and showcased his ability to inhabit complex characters with depth and empathy. Additionally, Cheadle starred in and co-produced the acclaimed film Crash, which took home the prestigious Academy Award for Best Picture in 2006. For his role in Crash, Cheadle received nominations for a BAFTA and Screen Actors Guild Award for Best Supporting Actor, further cementing his reputation as a versatile talent in the industry. Continuing his streak of captivating performances, Cheadle took on the lead role in the film Traitor, showcasing his ability to command the screen with charisma and intensity. In 2007, Cheadle starred opposite comedian Adam Sandler in Rain Over Me, a comedy drama exploring themes of grief and loss in the aftermath of the September 11th attacks. While the film may not have achieved commercial success, Cheadle's performance was praised for its emotional depth and authenticity. Throughout the years, Cheadle has showcased his versatility by taking on a wide range of projects across different genres. In 2009, he starred in the family-friendly film Hotel for Dogs, and collaborated with The Boondocks, creator Aaron Magruder on a potential comedy show for NBC, demonstrating his commitment to exploring diverse creative avenues. Cheadle's passion for storytelling extended beyond the silver screen, as evidenced by his involvement in projects like The People Speak, a documentary that brought to life the voices of ordinary Americans through dramatic readings of historical texts. In 2010, Cheadle stepped into the iconic role of James, Rhodey, Rhodes' War Machine in Iron Man 2, marking the beginning of his journey in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He continued to portray the character in subsequent films, including Iron Man 3, Avengers, Age of Ultron, Captain America, Civil War, Avengers, Infinity War, Captain Marvel, and Avengers, Endgame, as well as in Disney television series like The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and What If? From 2012 to 2016, Cheadle showcased his talent in the Showtime drama, House of Lies, earning a Golden Globe for Best Actor in a Comedy Series for his role on the show. Additionally, he dedicated a decade of his life to writing, producing, directing, and starring in the biographical film, Miles Ahead, which explored the life and legacy of jazz musician Miles Davis. In recent years, Cheadle has continued to captivate audiences with his performances, including guest-starring roles in popular series like DuckTales, 
and starring roles in films like No Sudden Move and Space Jam. A new legacy, showcasing his enduring appeal and versatility as an actor. With all of this success, it's no surprise that we would feature his ultra-luxurious homes. Mansion in Venice, California Don Cheadle's former residence in Marina del Rey offers a glimpse into luxurious modern living, with its sleek design and upscale amenities. Originally an 800-square-meter bungalow, the property underwent a stunning transformation, now boasting a spacious 2,400-square-meter modern home adorned with steel cladding. Public records indicate that Cheadle and his partner acquired the house in 2014 for $894,000. Nestled in the vibrant Venice-Oxford Triangle neighborhood, the residence enjoys proximity to the bustling shops and eateries along Abbott Kinney Avenue, adding to its allure. Stepping inside, visitors are greeted by an inviting open layout on the main floor, featuring lofty 10-foot ceilings, seamlessly integrating dining and living spaces, and a chef's kitchen complete with luxurious marble countertops top-of-the-line appliances, and a convenient walk-in pantry. Adding to the ambiance, the floor is adorned with elegant French oak. For added flexibility, a garden family room offers the possibility of conversion into an additional bedroom, catering to various lifestyle needs. Meanwhile, the master suite, situated on the second floor, boasts a private balcony, providing a serene retreat for relaxation. Outside, the terrace is thoughtfully covered with artificial grass, ensuring easy maintenance and a lush outdoor experience. The garage, currently utilized as an art studio, offers versatility for alternative uses. Embracing modern technology, the urban oasis is equipped with high-tech features, including app-controlled security cameras and built-in speakers in the main and great rooms, enhancing both security and entertainment options for residents. Notably, Cheadle's former Marina del Rey abode recently changed hands for approximately $2,400,000, following its listing in early 2016 at a similar price point. Marking a successful transaction in the competitive Los Angeles real estate market. Mansion in Missouri, United States Don Cheadle's expansive real estate portfolio includes a magnificent mansion nestled in Kansas City, Missouri, showcasing luxurious amenities and spacious living quarters spread across a sprawling 3,900 square meters. Boasting three bedrooms and four fully upgraded bathrooms, this palatial residence exudes elegance and comfort at every turn. Upon entering the main level, residents are greeted by a lavish master suite, complete with dual vanities, a corner jetted tub, separate shower, powder room, and a generously sized walk-in closet. A highlight of the master suite is its direct access to a breathtaking private covered patio, offering a serene outdoor retreat right at your doorstep. The kitchen is a culinary enthusiast's dream, featuring granite countertops, stylish backsplashes, a designer range hood, breakfast bar, stainless steel appliances, and a well-appointed pantry. Ensuring convenience and functionality, adjoining the kitchen is a charming breakfast room adorned with a wall of windows, providing abundant natural light and additional access to the private covered patio. The oversized living room exudes warmth and sophistication, anchored by a stunning fireplace and adorned with ample windows, infusing the space with natural light and offering picturesque views of the surroundings. Meanwhile, the formal dining room impresses with its spaciousness, airy ambiance, decorative columns, and a wall of windows, creating an inviting setting for hosting gatherings and entertaining guests. Convenience is paramount with attached two-car garages situated behind the house, complete with a service lobby and adjacent large laundry room, ensuring seamless living. The upper level of the mansion encompasses two generously sized bedrooms with spacious closets, connected by a convenient Hollywood bath. Additionally, a finished bonus room on this level offers versatility and can be adapted to suit various needs. Whether as a home office, game room, or additional living space. Descending to the spacious finished lower level, residents are greeted by a vast family entertainment room, complemented by a dry bar space and a dedicated game TV area perfect for hosting gatherings and enjoying leisure activities. Completing the lower level are mismatched bedrooms and three-quarter bathrooms, providing ample accommodation options for family members or guests. Additionally, a spacious storage room offers practicality and organization, ensuring ample space for belongings. While owning many valuable real estate, Don Cheadle is also a speed enthusiast as shown by his car collection that we will introduce shortly. Cars Don Cheadle the celebrated actor known for his role as War Machine, 
in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, has a passion that extends beyond the silver screen, classic cars. Despite his global fame and success, Cheadle prefers to keep a low profile when it comes to his automotive preferences. Rather than flaunting flashy supercars, his garage boasts a collection of timeless classics that reflect his refined taste and appreciation for automotive heritage. One of the jewels of Cheadle's collection is the Jaguar E-Type convertible, a vehicle often hailed as one of the most luxurious and iconic British cars of all time. With its sleek design and powerful inline six-cylinder engine, the E-Type exudes elegance and performance. It's no wonder it caught the eye of legendary car enthusiast Enzo Ferrari, who famously dubbed it, the most beautiful car ever made. Cheadle's E-Type, equipped with a 4-liter engine, packs a punch with 265 horsepower and 283 pound-feet of torque, boasting a top speed of 150 miles per hour and an impressive 0-60 to 60 acceleration time of just 7 seconds. Another standout in Cheadle's collection is the Jaguar XJ12, a flagship luxury sedan that epitomizes British automotive excellence. With its striking design and powerful V12 engine, the XJ12 exudes sophistication and class. Sporting a 5-liter engine producing 295 horsepower and 319 pound-feet of torque, this classic sedan can reach a top speed of 143 miles per hour and accelerate from 0 to 60 in 8 seconds. Its timeless design and impressive performance make it a true standout in Cheadle's garage. Rounding out Cheadle's collection is the Mercedes-Benz SL560, a modern classic that embodies the epitome of luxury and refinement. With its sleek lines and powerful V8 engine, the SL560 offers a perfect blend of style and performance. Equipped with a 5-liter engine churning out 227 horsepower and 287 pound-feet of torque, this iconic roadster boasts a top speed of 130 miles per hour and can go from 0 to 60 in just 4 seconds. Whether cruising around town or hitting the open road, the SL560 offers a driving experience like no other. In a world where luxury often means flashy and extravagant, Don Cheadle's classic car collection stands out for its timeless elegance and understated sophistication. With vehicles that are as iconic as they are refined, Cheadle's garage is a testament to his discerning taste and appreciation for automotive excellence. Don Cheadle, celebrated actor and activist, has been a driving force behind numerous charitable initiatives, leveraging his platform to effect positive change. Philanthropy One of his notable endeavors is the co-founding of Not On Our Watch, alongside the cast of Ocean's 13. This organization, in collaboration with human rights activist John Prendergast, seeks to address the humanitarian crisis in Darfur. Cheadle's involvement extends beyond just founding organizations he co-authored a book titled, Not On Our Watch. Offering insights into the Darfur crisis and suggesting actionable steps to mitigate it. Among the array of causes Cheadle supports is the after-school all-stars program, dedicated to enriching the lives of children through educational and extracurricular activities. These programs not only provide a safe environment for children after school but also foster academic success and personal development. Aid Still Required, another initiative close to Cheadle's heart, focuses on aiding communities overlooked in the aftermath of natural disasters. By championing forgotten causes and providing essential resources such as medical care, education, and livelihood opportunities, the organization aims to promote self-sufficiency and resilience. The Anti-Up for Africa Poker Tournament, co-organized by Cheadle and professional poker player Annie Duke, serves as a unique fundraising platform for Darfur relief efforts. Celebrities and poker enthusiasts alike come together to raise awareness and financial support for organizations working on the ground to alleviate the crisis. Children Mending Hearts, founded by Lisa Heslov, facilitates creative exchanges between at-risk children and those living in conflict zones. Through artistic expression, the organization empowers children to voice their experiences and fosters empathy and understanding across borders. Easter Seals, a long-standing institution in the disability community, provides a wide range of services to individuals with autism and other disabilities. By offering education, rehabilitation, and advocacy, Easter Seals enables individuals to thrive and participate fully in their communities. The Golden Hat Foundation, inspired by Kate Winslet's encounter with a nonverbal autistic boy named Kelly and his mother Margaret, strives to enhance the lives of people with autism worldwide. Through education, social support, and advocacy, the foundation works to empower individuals with autism and promote independence and inclusion. 
In addition to his direct involvement in these initiatives, Cheadle lends his support to various organizations such as the Boys and Girls Clubs of America. Ed Asner Family Center, Enough Project, Jewish World Watch, Lupus LA, and UNICEF. Through his multifaceted efforts, Cheadle exemplifies the power of celebrity activism in driving meaningful change and making a difference in the world. Personal Life Don Cheadle's journey into his family's past sheds light on the complexities of African-American heritage and the enduring legacy of slavery. In 2008, the PBS series African American Lives 2 delved into Cheadle's ancestral history, uncovering a story deeply intertwined with the tumultuous history of slavery in the United States. The revelations brought forth by the program unveiled a poignant narrative. Cheadle's ancestors were once enslaved by the Chickasaw Nation, a painful reality that persisted until as late as 1866 when the Chickasaw Nation finally emancipated their slaves. It wasn't until the 1890s, thanks to the Dawes Commission, that Cheadle's ancestors gained U.S. and Chickasaw citizenship, marking a significant milestone in their struggle for recognition and freedom. Moreover, DNA testing conducted as part of the program unveiled further layers of Cheadle's heritage. Results revealed that he is of Cameroonian descent, connecting him to the rich cultural tapestry of West Africa. Additionally, the DNA analysis unveiled the diverse origins of Cheadle's African ancestors, with a significant portion tracing back to regions stretching from Senegal to Liberia, while others hailed from the Congo-Angola area, as well as West Nigeria and Benin. Beyond his ancestral journey, Cheadle's personal life also holds moments of significance. In early 2020, he celebrated a milestone as he married his longtime partner. Actress Bridget Coulter, with whom he shares a relationship spanning over 28 years. Together, they have nurtured a family, raising two children and forging a bond grounded in love and commitment. Cheadle's story serves as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring quest for identity and belonging. Through his exploration of his family's past and his journey towards building a meaningful life, Cheadle embodies the spirit of resilience and determination, inspiring others to embrace their heritage and forge their own path forward. Don Cheadle's tireless advocacy spans from addressing humanitarian crises to tackling climate change and championing human rights causes. Political Activities One of his prominent endeavors has been his relentless campaign to end genocide in Darfur, Sudan. Teaming up with human rights activist John Prendergast, Cheadle co-authored the book, Not on Our Watch, The Mission to End Genocide in Darfur and Beyond, Shedding Light on the Atrocities and Advocating for Global Action. In 2007, Cheadle, alongside notable figures like George Clooney, Brad Pitt, Matt Damon, David Pressman, and Jerry Weintraub, founded Project Not On Our Watch. This organization serves as a beacon of hope, rallying international support to prevent and deter mass brutality, particularly in regions plagued by genocide. Cheadle's commitment to humanitarian causes didn't go unnoticed. In the same year, he was honored with the Bet Humanitarian of the Year Award for his impactful work in Darfur and Rwanda. Recognizing his unwavering dedication to alleviating human suffering, beyond his efforts in Darfur, Cheadle has extended his advocacy to other pressing issues, including climate change. Collaborating with actor Harrison Ford, he co-created the documentary series, Years Living Dangerously, which offers first-hand accounts of those affected by climate change and explores potential solutions. Moreover, Cheadle's involvement with the United Nations Environment Program and his position on the advisory board of the Citizens Climate Lobby underscore his commitment to combating environmental threats. In recognition of his significant contributions to environmental conservation, Cheadle was appointed as a goodwill ambassador of the United Nations Environment Program in 2010, further amplifying his impact on global environmental initiatives. Additionally, Cheadle's advocacy extends to raising awareness about marginalized communities, such as transgender individuals. His public support for transgender rights was evident during a 2019 appearance on Saturday Night Live, where he boldly wore a t-shirt advocating for the protection of transgender kids. Through his multifaceted activism and unwavering dedication to humanitarian causes, Don Cheadle continues to inspire positive change, leaving an indelible mark on both local communities and the global stage. Thank you for joining us on this exclusive journey into the world of Don Cheadle. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more behind-the-scenes looks into the lives of these your favorite stars. Until next time, stay tuned for more exclusive content. Goodbye.